Blessed is our God, always now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to thee, our God. Glory to thee. O heavenly King, comforter, spirit of truth, who are everywhere present and fill us to all things, treasury of good things and giver of life, come and dwell in us and cleanse us of all impurity and save our souls, O good one. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O most holy Trinity, have mercy on us. O Lord, blot out our sins. O Master, pardon our iniquities. O Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in the heavens, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, and thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Lord have mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O come, let us worship God, our King. O come, let us worship and fall down before Christ, our King and God. O come, let us worship and fall down before Christ himself, our King and God. Hearken, O Lord, unto my righteousness. Attend unto my supplication. Give ear unto my prayer, which cometh now from these evil lips. From before thy face, let my judgment come forth. Let mine eyes behold of brightness. Thou hast proved my heart, thou hast visited it in the night, thou hast tried me by fire, and unrighteousness was not found in me, that my mouth might not speak of the works of men. For the sake of the words of thy lips have I kept the ways that are hard. Set my footsteps in thy paths, and my steps may not be shaken. I have cried, for thou hast hearkened unto me, O God. Incline thine ear unto me, and hearken unto my words. Let thy mercies be made wonderful, O thou that savest them that hope in thee. From them that did resist in thy right hand, keep me, O Lord, as the apple of thine eye. In the shelter of thy wings wilt thou shelter me from the face of the ungodly which have oppressed me. Mine enemies have surrounded my soul. They have enclosed themselves with their own fat. Their mouth hath spoken pride. They that cast me out have now encircled me. They have set their eyes to look askance on the earth. They have taken me as my lion ready for his prey, and as my lion's wealth that dwelleth in hiding. 
Arise, O Lord, overtake them and trip their heels. Deliver my soul from ungodly men, thy sword from the enemies of thy hand. O Lord, from thy few do thou separate them from the earth in their life. Yea, with thy hidden treasures hath their belly been filled. They have satisfied themselves with swine and have left the remnants to their babes. But as for me, in righteousness shall I appear before thy face. I shall be filled when thy glory is made manifest to me. Unto thee, O Lord, have I lifted up my soul, O my God, in thee have I trusted. Let me never be put to shame, nor let mine enemies laugh me to scorn. Yea, let none that wait on thee be put to shame. Let them be ashamed, which are lawless without a cause. Make thy ways, O Lord, known unto me, and teach me thy paths. Lead me in thy truth, and teach me, for thou art God my Saviour. For on thee have I waited all the day long. Remember thy compassions, O Lord, and thy mercies, for they are everlasting. The sins of my youth and my ignorances, remember not. According to thy mercy, remember thou me for the sake of thy goodness, O Lord. Good and upright is the Lord, therefore will he set a law for them that sin in the way. He will guide the meek in judgment, he will teach the meek his ways. All the ways of the Lord are mercy and truth unto them that seek after his covenant and his testimonies. For the sake of thy name, O Lord, be gracious unto my sin, for it is great. Who is the man that feareth the Lord? He will set him a law in the way which he hath chosen. His soul shall dwell among good things, and his seed shall inherit the earth. The Lord is the strength of them that fear him, and his covenant shall be manifested unto them. Mine eyes are ever toward the Lord, for he it is that will draw my feet out of the snare. Look upon me, and have mercy on me, for I am one only begotten and poor. The afflictions of my heart are multiplied. Bring me up from my necessities. Behold my lowliness and my toil, and forgive all my sins. Look upon mine enemies, for they are multiplied, and with an unjust hatred have they hated me. Keep my soul and rescue me. Let me not be put to shame, for I have hoped in thee. The innocent and the upright have cleaved unto me, for I waited on thee, O Lord. Redeem Israel, O God, out of all his afflictions. <coughs> have mercy on me, O God, according to thy great mercy, and according to the multitude of thy compassions, blood of my transgression. Wash me thoroughly from my iniquity, and cleanse me from my sin, for I know my iniquity and my sin is ever before me. Against thee only have I sinned and done this evil before thee, that thou mightest be justified in thy words and prevail when thou art judged. For behold, I was conceived in iniquities, and in sins did my mother bear me. For behold, I was loved truth, the hidden and secret things of thy wisdom hast thou made manifest unto me. Thou shalt sprinkle me with hyssop, and I shall be made clean. Thou shalt wash, I shall be made whiter than snow. Thou shalt make me to hear joy and gladness. The bones that be humble, they shall rejoice. Turn thy face away from my sins, and blot out all mine iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from thy presence, and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation, and with thy governing spirit establish me. I shall teach transgressors thy ways, and the ungodly shall turn back unto thee. Deliver me from blood guiltiness, O God, thou God of my salvation. My tongue shall rejoice in thy righteousness. O Lord, thou shalt open my lips, and my mouth shall declare thy praise. For if thou hast desired sacrifice, I have given it. With whole burnt offerings thou shalt not be pleased. A sacrifice unto God is a broken spirit, a heart that is broken and humbled. God will not despise. Do good, O Lord, in thy good pleasure unto Zion, and let the walls of Jerusalem be builded. Then shalt thou be pleased with the sacrifice of righteousness, with oblation and whole burnt offerings. Then shall they offer bullocks upon thine altar. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Thou wast revealed to all as a true shepherd, O Hiram, Martyr John of Chicago, for thou didst nurture thy people in the Orthodox faith, guiding them by word and deed on the path of salvation, and didst defend the faith even unto the shedding of thy blood. Therefore we, thy spiritual children, cry out in thanksgiving, Glory to him who gave thee strength, glory to him who hath granted thee a martyr's crown, glory to him who granteth mercy to all things. 
both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O Theotokos, thou art the true vine that hath blossomed forth for us the fruit of life. Thee do we supplicate, intercede, O Lady, together with the holy apostles, that our souls find mercy. Blessed is the Lord God, blessed is the Lord day by day, the God of our salvation shall prosper us along the way. Our God is the God of salvation. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O most holy Trinity, have mercy on us, O Lord, blot out our sins, O Master, pardon our iniquities, O Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in the heavens, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Amen. Now the holy Harumata is glorified, for he has taken up his cross and followed Christ. In so doing, he has given us a model of true discipleship. Therefore, let us cry aloud to him, rejoice, O Father John, thou glory of princes. Lord have mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Thou who at all times and at every hour in heaven and on earth art worshipped and glorified, O Christ God, who art long suffering, plenteous in mercy, most compassionate, who lovest the righteous and has mercy on sinners, who callest to all the salvation of the promise of good things to come. Receive, O Lord, our prayers at this hour and guide our life toward thy commandments. Sanctify our souls, make chaste our bodies, correct our thoughts, purify our intentions, and deliver us from every sorrow, evil, and pain. Compass us about with thy holy angels, that guarded and guided by their array, we may attain to the unity of the faith and to the knowledge of thine unapproachable glory. For blessed art thou unto the ages of ages. Amen. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. <coughs> glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. More honorable than the cherubim and the anthem, here, more glorious than the seraphim, who without corruption gave us birth to God, the word, the very day of focus, thee to be magnified. In the name of the Lord, Father, bless. <coughs> Amen. O Master God, the Father Almighty, O Lord, the only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, and O Holy Spirit, from God, yet one power. Have mercy on me, a sinner, and by the judgments which thou knowest, save me, thine unworthy servant. So blessed art thou into the ages of the ages. Amen. O come, let us worship God, our King. O come, let us worship and fall down before Christ, our King and God. O come, let us worship and fall down before Christ himself, our King and God. O God, in thy name, save me, and in thy strength do thou judge me. O God, hearken unto my prayers, and hear unto the words of my mouth, for strangers are risen up against me. And mighty men have sought after my soul, and if not, said God before themselves. For behold, God knoweth me, and the Lord is the protector of my soul. He will bring evils upon mine enemies, utterly destroy them by thy truth. Willingly shall I sacrifice unto thee, I will confess thy name, O Lord, for it is good. For out of every affliction hast thou delivered me, and mine eye hath looked down upon mine enemies. <coughs> Give ear, O God, unto my prayer, and disdain on my supplication. Attend unto me, and hear me. I was grieved in my meditation, I was troubled at the voice of the enemy and at the oppression of the sinner, because they have turned iniquity upon me, and with wrath are they angry against me. My heart is troubled within me, and the terror of death has fallen upon me. Fear and trembling have come upon me, and darkness have covered me, and I said, You will give me wings like a dove, and I will fly and be at rest. Will I have fled afar off and have dwelt in the wilderness? I waited for God to save me from pain, hardness, and from tempest. 
One woman to the death row, Lord, and divide their tongue, try to see iniquity and gainsaying in the city. Day and night they go round about her, upon her walls, iniquity and toil and unrighteousness are in the midst of her. And usury and deceit have not departed from her streets. Or if my enemy had reviled me, I might have endured it, and if he had hated me, had spoken ghost for words against me, I might have hid myself from him. But thou it was, O man of life, so with me, my God, and my familiar friend. <coughs> Thou who together with me did sweeten my repast, in the house of God I walked with thee in oneness of mine. Let death come upon such ones, and let them go down alive into Hades, for wickedness is in their dwellings and in the midst of them. As for me unto God, have I cried, and the Lord hearkened unto me. Evening, morning, and noonday will I tell a vision, will declare it, and he will hear my voice. He will redeem my soul in peace from them that draw nigh unto me, for they among many were with me. God will hear, and he will humble them, he that is before the ages. For to them there is no requital, because they have not feared God. He hath stretched forth his hand in retribution, they have defiled his covenant, they were scattered by the wrath of his countenance, and their hearts have convened. Their words were smoother than oil, and yet they are darts. Cast thy care upon the Lord, and he will nourish thee. He will never permit the righteous to be shaken. But thou, God, shalt bring those men down into the pit of destruction. Bloody and deceitful men shall not live out half their days, but as for me, O Lord, I will hope in thee. <clears throat> He that dwelleth in the help of the Most High shall abide in the shelter of the God of heaven. He shall say unto the Lord, Thou art my helper and my refuge. He is my God, and I will hope in him. For he shall deliver thee from the snare of the hunters and from every troubling word. With his shoulders will he overshadow thee, and under his wings shalt thou have hope. With a shield will his truth encompass thee. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flieth by day, nor for the thing that walketh in darkness, nor for the mishap and demon of noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but unto thee shall it not come nigh. Only with thine eyes shalt thou behold, and thou shalt see the reward of sinners, for thou, Lord, art my hope. Thou madest the most high thy refuge, no evil shall come nigh thee, and no spirit shall draw nigh unto thy dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over thee, to keep thee in all thy ways. On their hands shall they bear thee up, lest any time thou dash thy foot against a stone. Upon the aspen basilisk shalt thou tread, and thou shalt trample upon the lion and dragon. For he hath set his hope on me, and I will deliver him, I will shelter him, because he hath known my name. He shall cry unto me, and I will hearken unto him. I am with him in affliction, and I will rescue him and glorify him. With length of days will I satisfy him, and I will show him my salvation. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Thou wast revealed to us, to all, as a true shepherd, O Hiram Martyr John of Chicago. For thou didst nurture thy people in the Orthodox faith, guiding them by word and deed on the path of salvation, and didst defend the faith even unto the shedding of thy blood. Therefore we, thy spiritual children, cry out in thanksgiving. Glory to him who gave thee strength. Glory to him who hath granted thee a martyr's crown. Glory to him who granteth mercy to all through thee, both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Seeing that we have no boldness on account of our many sins, do thou beseech him that was born of thee, O virgin Theotokos. For the supplication of a mother availeth much to win the master's favor. Disdain not the prayers of sinners, O all pure one, for merciful and mighty to save as he who deigned also to suffer for our sake. Let thy compassions quickly go before us, O Lord, for we are become exceedingly poor. Help us, O God, our Savior, for the sake of the glory of thy name. O Lord, deliver us and be gracious unto our sins for thy name's sake. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O most holy Trinity, have mercy on us. O Lord, blood on our sins. O Master, pardon our iniquities. O Holy One, visit us in our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in the heavens, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, and the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages. 
Amen. Now the holy Hiramantra is glorified, for he hath taken, it, taken up his cross and followed Christ. In so doing, he hath given us a model of true discipleship. Therefore, let us cry aloud to him, Rejoice, O Father John, the glory of priests. Lord have mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Thou who at all times and at every hour in heaven and on earth art worshiped and glorified, O Christ God, who art long suffering, plenteous in mercy, most compassionate, who lovest the righteous and has mercy on sinners, who call us out of salvation to the promise of good things to come. Receive, O Lord, our prayers of this hour, and guide our life to thy commandments. <coughs> Sanctify our souls, make chaste our bodies, correct our thoughts, purify our intentions, and deliver us from every sorrow, evil, and pain. Compass us about to thy holy angels, that guarded and guided by their array. We may attain to the unity of the faith and the knowledge of thine unapproachable glory. For blessed art thou unto the ages of ages. Amen. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. More honorable than the cherubim, and beyond compare, more glorious than the seraphim, who without corruption gave us birth to God the Word, the very Theotokos, the we magnify. In the name of the Lord, Father, bless. In the presence of our Holy Father, the Lord Jesus Christ, our God, and mercy. Amen. O God, and Lord of hosts, and maker of all creation, who by the tender compassion of thy mercy, which transcendent comprehension, did send down not only begotten Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, for the salvation of our race, and by his precious cross, did tear us under the handwriting of our sins, and thereby did triumph over the principalities and powers of darkness. Do thou thyself, O Master, lover of mankind, accept also from us sinners these prayers of thanksgiving and entreaty, and deliver us from every destructive and dark transgression, and from all enemies, both visible and invisible, that seek to do us evil. Nail in our flesh with the fear of thee, and incline not our hearts unto words or thoughts of evil, but pierce our souls with longing for thee, so that ever looking to thee, and being guided by thy light as we behold thee, the unapproachable and everlasting light, we may sin of unceasing praise and thanksgiving unto thee. The unoriginate Father, with thine only begotten Son, and thine only way, and good in life, creating spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Bless, Master. Blessed is the kingdom of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of the age. Amen. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. With the peace from above, and the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. In the peace of the whole world, the good estate of the holy churches of God, in the union of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. And for this holy temple, and for them that with faith, reverence, and the fear of God enter herein, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Our great Lord and Father, His Holiness, Patriarch Kirill, for our Lord, the very most reverend Metropolitan Hilarion, first hierarch of the Russian Church abroad, and for the venerable priest of the diaconate in Christ, for all the clergy and people, let us pray to the Lord. For our all venerable Father, the abbot of this holy monastery, our commander at Seraphim, and all his brethren in Christ, let us pray to the Lord. Lord For this land, its authorities, and armed forces, let us pray to the Lord. God preserve Russia and Lenin, its Orthodox people, both in the homeland and the diaspora, and for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this holy monastery, for every 
city and country and the faithful that dwell therein, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Seasonable weather, abundance of the fruits of the earth, and peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For travelers by sea, land, and air, for the sick that suffering, the imprisoned, and for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. We may be delivered from all the tribulation, wrath, and necessity. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. Remembrance, our most holy, most pure, most blessed, glorious Lady Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints. <coughs> Let us commit ourselves and one another and all our life unto Christ our God. To
The Lord preserve it, the proselytes he shall adopt for his own, the orphan and the widow, and the wicked sinner shall he destroy. The Lord shall be king unto eternity, thy God, O Zion, unto generation and generation. But now and ever and unto the ages of ages, Amen. O only begotten Son and Word of God, who art immortal, yet is in for our salvation to become incarnate. Calling, 
And like the prophet, thou wast martyred while performing thy priestly service. Blessed are they that are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Thou art like a new Zechariah, O holy priest John, for thou wast born into a priestly family. Thou didst zealously and humbly follow thy sacred calling. And like the prophet, thou wast martyred while performing thy priestly service. Blessed are ye when men shall revile you and persecute you, and shall say all manner of evil against you, falsely for my sake. The light of thy virtues is blinding to those who prefer the darkness. Having killed thee, they believe the light to be gone forever. But instead, thou dost now radiate with the unfading light of God. Rejoice in the exceeding glad, for great is your reward in the heaven. To thine human persecutors, thou wast no better than a dog. But to us, the faithful, thou art a true image of Christ, a pure lamb led innocently to the slaughter. Glory to the Father. over their enemies. May 
upon their beds. The shall be exalted in glory, they shall rejoice upon their beds. Sing unto the Lord a new song, his praise is in the church of the saints. The righteous shall be exalted in glory, they shall rejoice upon their beds. The righteous shall be exalted in glory, they shall rejoice upon their beds. Wisdom. The reading is from the epistle of the Holy Apostle Paul to the Hebrews. Blessed them. Brethren, remember them which have the rule over you, who have spoken unto you the word of God, whose faith follow, considering the end of their conversation, Jesus Christ, the Savior, us today and today and forever. Be not carried about with divers and strange doctrines, for it is a good thing that the heart be established with grace, not with meats which have not profited them that have been occupied therein. We have an altar whereof they have no right to eat which serve the tabernacle, for the bodies of those beasts whose blood is brought into the sanctuary by the high priest for sin are burned without the camp. Wherefore Jesus also, that he might sanctify the people with his own blood, suffered without the gate. Let us go forth therefore unto him without the camp, bearing his reproach. For here have we no continuing city, but we seek one to come. By him, therefore, let us offer the sacrifice of praise to God continually, that is, the fruit of our lips, giving thanks to his name. But to do good and to communicate, forget not, for with such sacrifices God is well pleased. <clears throat> and to thy spirit, wisdom, the Alleluia in the sixth tone. Alleluia, Alleluia. Blessed is the man that heareth the Lord, in his commandments shall he greatly delight. His 
his seed shall be mighty upon the earth. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Us, Master, the bringer of the good tidings of the holy apostle evangelist John. May God, through the intercessions of the holy glorious, all praise the apostle and evangelist John. Give speech with great power unto thee that bring his good tidings, unto the fulfillment of the gospel of his beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Wisdom right, let us hear the holy gospel. Peace be unto all. And unto thy spirit. The reading is from the holy gospel according to John. cometh not but for to steal, and to kill, and to destroy. I am come that they might have life, and that they might have it more abundantly. I am the good shepherd, the good <coughs> shepherd giveth his life for the sheep. But he that is a hireling, and not the shepherd, whose own the sheep are not, seeth the wolf coming, and leaveth the sheep, and fleeth. And the wolf catcheth them, and scattereth the sheep. The hireling fleeth, because he is a hireling, and careth not for the sheep. I am the good shepherd, and know my sheep, and am known of mine. As the Father knoweth me, even so know I the Father, and I lay down my life for the sheep. And other sheep I have, which are not of this fold, them also I must bring, and they shall hear my voice, and there shall be one fold. And one shepherd. Let us all say with our whole soul and with our whole mind, let us say, Lord have mercy. Lord Almighty, the God of our fathers, we pray thee, hearken and have mercy. Lord have mercy. Have mercy on us, O God, according to thy great mercy, we pray thee, hearken and have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. And we pray for our great Lord and Father, His Holiness, Patriarch Kirill, for our Lord, the very most reverend Metropolitan Hilarion, First Hierarch of the Russian Church Abroad, and for all our brethren in Christ. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord Father, the abbot of this holy monastery, Archimandrite Seraphim, and all his brethren in Christ. And we pray for this land and its authorities and armed forces. Orthodox people, both in the homeland and the diaspora, and for their salvation. And we pray for our brethren, the priests, the priest monks, and all our brethren in Christ. Blessed and ever memorable holy Orthodox patriarchs, for pious kings and right believing queens, and for the founders of this holy monastery, and for all their fathers and brethren gone to the rest before us, 
For the Orthodox here and everywhere lay to rest. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, Lord, have mercy. More than all others we have sinned against thee, and we have transgressed, O Master. And if we have not acquired repentance, and set of repentance, accept our offering. And having set thyself to mercy as thou art almighty, free thy servants from the coronavirus. Groaning in pain, we pray thee quickly, hearken and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, Lord, have mercy. Thou mightest look down with a merciful eye upon the people of the Ukrainian land, and make it unconquerable by those who work strife. We pray thee, O kind-hearted Lord, hearken and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again we pray to our Lord and Savior that he might preserve the Orthodox Church throughout the world in unity and piety, and grant unto her peace and tranquility, love and accord. Let us all say, O Lord, hearken and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, Lord, have mercy. Again we pray that you would bless the building of our new church, and that its foundation may be laid successfully to the glory of his name, and that it may be continued speedily without hindrance unto its completion, by the power and operation and grace of the Most Holy Spirit, let us all say, O Lord, hearken and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, Lord, have mercy. Then we pray for them that bring offerings and do good works in this holy and all venerable temple, for them that minister and them that chant, and for all the people here present. Who will wait of thee, great and abundant mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, Lord, have mercy. O merciful God, art thou the lover of mankind, the Lord, and of glory, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For Jesus Christ, our God, look down with a merciful eye upon the sorrowing, great, and painful cry of thy children, abiding in the Ukrainian land. Deliver thy people from civil strife, make to cease the spilling of blood, and turn back the misfortune set against them. Lead unto sanctuary those bereft of shelter. Feed the hungry, comfort those who weep and unite the divided. Lead not thy own flock who abide in sorrows on account of their kindred to diminish, but rather as thou art benevolent, give speedy reconciliation. <clears throat> Soften the hearts of the unmerciful and convert them into the knowledge of thee. Grant peace to thy church and to her children, that with one heart and one mouth we may glorify thee, O Lord and Savior, unto the ages. Amen. Three catechumens to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Be faithful, let's pray for the catechumens that the Lord will have mercy on them. If you will catechize them with the word of truth. If you will reveal unto them the gospel of righteousness. Holy Catholic and Apostolic Church. Save them, have mercy on them, help them, and keep them, O God, by thy mercy. You catechumens, bow your heads unto the Lord. Catechumens depart, catechumens depart, as many as are catechumens depart, that none of the catechumens remain, as many as are of the faithful, again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. 
Shalom. For unto me is the all holy honor and worship to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. <clears throat> now and ever and unto me is the religion. Amen. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. In the peace from above and the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. In the peace of the whole world, the good estate of the holy churches of God, in the union of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this holy temple and for them that with faith, reverence, and fear of God enter here and let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. That we may be delivered from all tribulation, wrath, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. Wisdom. Thou is the God of thy dominion, we may send up glory unto thee, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen.
Our great Lord and Father Kirill, the most holy patriarch of Moscow and all Russia, thou, Lord, the very most reverend Hilarion, metropolitan of Eastern America and New York, the first hierarch of the Russian church abroad, may the Lord God remember in his kingdom, always, now, and ever, and unto the ages of ages. The all venerable abbot of this holy monastery, our commandrite seraphim, and all his brethren in Christ, may the Lord God remember in his kingdom, always, now, and ever, and unto the ages of ages. This land is authorities and the faithful that dwell therein, the God preserved Russian land and its Orthodox people, both in the homeland and the diaspora, the clergy, the monastics, and all those that are persecuted and suffer for the Orthodox faith, the founders, the benefactors, and the brotherhood of this holy monastery. May the Lord God remember in his kingdom, always now and ever and unto the ages of ages. And all you Orthodox Christians, may the Lord God remember in his kingdom, always now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen.
one another that with one mind we may confess.
reverence all the saints again and again in peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Precious gifts offered and sanctified. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Let our God, the lover of mankind, having accepted them upon us holy and most heavenly and noetic altar as an odor of spiritual fragrance, will send down upon us divine grace and the gift of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy. That we may be delivered from all tribulation, wrath, and necessity. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. Let the whole day may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless. Let us ask of the Lord. Lord. An angel of peace, a faithful guide, a guardian of our souls and bodies. Let us ask of the Lord. Pardon and remission of our sins and offenses. Let us ask of the Lord. Profitable for our souls and peace for the world, let us ask of the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. We may complete the remaining time of our life in peace and peace and repentance, let us ask of the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. Christian to our life, painless, blameless, peaceful, and a good defense before the dread judgment seat of Christ, let us ask. Grant this, O Lord. Having asked for the unity of the faith and the communion of the Holy Spirit, let us commit ourselves and one another and all our life unto Christ our God.
Accept the repentance of me, a sinner, and incline thy ear to me and hearken to my words. For I have sinned against heaven and before thee, and I am not worthy to look upon the height of thy glory. For I have angered thy goodness by transgressing thy commandments and not obeying thine injunctions. But thou, O Lord, who art not vengeful, but long suffering and plenteous in mercy, hast not given me over to be destroyed of my sins, but always thou waitest my complete conversion. For thou hast said, O lover of mankind, through thy vomit, for I desire not the death of this sinner, but that he should return and live. For thou desirest not, O master, to destroy the work of thy hands. Neither shalt thou be pleased with the destruction of men, but desirest that all be saved and come to a knowledge of truth. Wherefore, even I, although unworthy of heaven and earth and of this temporal life, having submitted my whole self to sin, and made myself a slave of pleasure, and having defaced thy image, Yet being thy work and creation, wretched though I be, I despair not of my salvation, and dare to approach thine immeasurable loving kindness. Accept then even me, O Lord, lover of mankind, as thou didst accept the sinful woman, the thief, the publican, and the prodigal, and take away the heavy burden of my sins, thou that takest away the sin of the world, and healest the infirmities of mankind, who callest the weary and heavy laden unto thyself, and givest them rest who camest not to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance. And do thou cleanse me from all defilement of flesh and spirit, and teach me to achieve holiness and fear of thee. With the pure testimony of my conscience, receiving a portion of thy holy things, I may be united unto thy holy body and blood, and have thee living and abiding in me with the Father and thy Holy Spirit. Yea, O Lord Jesus Christ, my God, let not the communion of thy immaculate and life-giving mysteries be unto me for judgment neither unto infirmity of soul and body because of my partaking of them unworthily, but grant me unto my last breath to receive without condemnation the portion of thy holy things unto communion with the Holy Spirit as a provision for life eternal, for an acceptable defense at thy dread judgment seat, so that I also with all thine elect may become a partaker of any incorruptible blessings which thou hast prepared for them that love thee, O Lord, in whom art glorified unto the ages. Amen. O Lord my God, I know that I am not worthy and sufficient that thou shouldest enter beneath the roof of the temple of my soul. For all is empty and fallen, and thou hast not to me a place worthy to lay thy hand. But as from on high thou hast humbled thyself for our sake, do thou now also, Lord, thyself to my holiness. And as thou didst consent to lie in a cave and in a manger of dumb beasts, so consent also to lie in the manger of my irrational soul, and to enter into my defiled body. And as thou dost not refuse to enter and to dine with sinners in the house of Simon the leper, so deign also to enter the house of my lowly soul, leprous and sinful. And as thou dost not reject a harlot and sinner like me when she came and touched thee, so be compassionate also with me, a sinner, as I approach and touch thee. And as thou dost feel no loathing for the defiled and unclean lips of her that kissed thee, do thou also not loathe my defiled lips, nor my abominable and impure mouth, and my polluted and unclean tongue. But let the fiery coal of the most holy body and that precious blood be unto me for sanctification and enlightenment and health from my holy soul and body, unto the lightening of the burden of my many sins, for preservation from every act of the devil, for the expulsion and prohibition of mine evil and wicked habits, unto the mortification of the passions, unto the keeping of thy commandments, 
unto the application of thy divine grace, unto the acquiring of thy kingdom. For not with disdain do I approach thee, O Christ God, but as one trusting in thine ineffable goodness, and that I may not by much abstain from thy communion, become the prey of the spiritual wolf. Wherefore do I entreat thee, for thou the only Holy One, O Master, sanctify my soul and body, my mind and heart, my belly and inward parts, and me entirely, and implant thy fear in my members, and make thy sanctification in able for me, and be unto me a helper and defender, guiding my life in peace, by saving me also to stand at the right hand of thy saints, through the intercessions and supplications of thy most pure mother, of thy immaterial ministers, and immaculate host, and of all the saints, who from the ages have been pleasing unto thee, Amen. O my pure and sinless Lord, who through the ineffable compassion of thy love mankind, has taken all of our substance from the pure and virgin blood of her that bear thee supernaturally, through the descent of the divine spirit, and the good will of the everlasting Father. O Christ <coughs> Jesus, wisdom of God, and peace and power, thou who through the assumption of our nature is take upon thyself our life giving and saving passion, the cross, the nails, the spear, and death, mortify the soul corrupting passions of my body. Thou who by thy burial didst lead captive the kingdom of Hades, there was good thoughts on evil schemes and destroy the spirits of evil. Thou who by thy life bearing resurrection on the third day didst raise up our fallen forefather, raise me up where I slipped down through sin, setting before me the ways of repentance. Thou who by thy most glorious ascension didst deify the flesh that thou hast taken, and this honor into the seed of the right hand of the Father. Vouch save me through partaking of thy holy mysteries to obtain a place at thy right hand among them that are saved. O thou who by the descent of thy spirit, the Comforter, didst make thy holy disciples worthy vessels, show me also to be receptacle of his coming. Thou who art to come again to judge the world in righteousness, danger, let me also meet thee on the clouds, my judge and creator with all thy saints, that I may endlessly glorify and praise thee with thine adoration of Father, and thy most holy and good and life breathing spirit, now and ever unto thee, it is of ages, amen. O Master, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, who alone hast authority to remit the sins of men, do thou, as the good one and lover of mankind, overlook all mine offenses, whether committed with knowledge or ignorance, and vouchsafe me to partake without condemnation of thy divine, glorious, immaculate, and life-giving mysteries, not as a burden for punishment, nor for the increase of sins, but as purification and sanctification, and as a pledge of the life and kingdom to come, as a bulwark and help for the destructive enemy, but for the blotting out of my many transgressions, but out to God of mercy and compassion and love for mankind, and unto thee we send up glory with the Father and the Holy Spirit, now and unto the ages of ages, amen. I know, O Lord, that I partake unworthily of the immaculate body and thy precious blood, and that I am guilty in eating and drink damnation to myself, not discerning the body and blood of thee, my Christ in love, but taking courage from thy compassion, I approach thee, as it said, He that eateth my flesh and drinketh my blood, abide in me, and I in him. Show compassion, therefore, O Lord, and do not accuse me of sin, but deal with me according to thy mercy, and let these holy things be for me unto healing and purification and enlightenment, and preservation and salvation, and unto sanctification of soul and body, unto the driving away of every fantasy and evil practice and activity of the devil working mentally in my members, unto confidence and love toward thee, unto correction of life, unto steadfastness, unto an increase of virtue and perfection, unto the fulfillment of the commandments, unto communion with the Holy Spirit, as a provision for life eternal, as an acceptable defense at thy dread tribunal, not unto judgment or condemnation. Amen. <coughs> With fear of God and faith, draw nigh. Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. God is the Lord and hath appeared unto us. I believe, O Lord, and I confess that thou art truly the Christ, the Son of the living God, who is come into the world to save sinners, of whom I am chief. Moreover, I believe that this is truly thy own most dear body, and this is truly thy own precious blood. Wherefore I pray thee, have mercy on me, and forgive me my transgressions, voluntary and involuntary, in word and deed and knowledge and ignorance, and vouchsafe me to partake thou condemnation of thy most pure mysteries, unto the remission of sins and life everlasting. Amen. At thy mystical supper, O Son of God, receive me today as a communicant, for I will not speak of the mystery to thine enemies, nor will I give thee a kiss as to Judas. But like the thief do I confess thee, 
Remember me, O Lord, in thy kingdom. Let not the communion of thy holy mysteries be unto me for judgment or condemnation, O Lord, but for the healing of soul and body. Thank you. 
praise to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, what now and ever, to the ages of ages, amen. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Father, bless. May Christ, our true God, to the intercessions of his most pure mother, to the power, the process, and life-giving cross of the Holy Glorious and all praised apostles of the Holy Glorious and victorious martyrs of our Holy and Great and governing fathers of the Holy Great Martyr and Healer Pontelayman, of the Holy New Hero Martyr John Cutro, and of the Holy Apostles Stachius, Amplius, and those with him, and the Holy Martyr Amplicus, and of, the, and of our fathers, Spiridon and Nicodemus of the Caves, and of the Holy and Righteous Sisters of God, Yochimanon, and of all the saints, have mercy on us and save us, for he is good and the lover of mankind. Amen. Our great Lord and Father, Kirill, most holy patriarch and Bosca and Orasha, our Lord, the very most reverend in the Larian, Metropolitan of Eastern America and New York, the Spirarch of the Russian Church of God, the all-memorable abbot of this holy monastery, Archimedrite Seraphim, the brethren of this holy monastery, and all Orthodox Christians, preserve all our family. Glory to thee, O God, glory to thee, O God, glory to thee, O God. I thank thee, O Lord, my God, that thou hast not rejected me, a sinner, but hast found me to be a communicant of thy holy things. I thank thee that thou hast not saved me, unworthy to partake of thy holy spirit, heavenly gifts. But, O Master, lover of mankind, who far sake did sign, did rise again, and did bestow upon us these dread and life-giving for the well-being and sanctification of our souls and bodies. Grant that these may be even unto me for the healing of both soul and body, for the averting of everything hostile, for the enlightenment of the eyes of my heart, for the peace of the powers of my soul, for faith unashamed, for love and faith, for the fullness of wisdom, for the keeping of thy commandments, for an increase of thy divine grace, and for the attainment of thy kingdom, that being preserved by them in thy holiness, I may always remember thy grace, and no longer live for myself, but for thee, our master and benefactor. And thus, when I shall have the part of this life, the hope of life eternal, I may attain unto everlasting rest for the sound of them that keep festival is unceasing, and the delight is endless of them that behold the ineffable beauty of thy countenance. For thou art the true desire and the unutterable gladness of them that love thee, O Christ our God, and all creation that them the end to the ages. Amen. O Master Christ God, King of the ages and Creator of all things, I thank thee for all the good things which thou hast bestowed upon me, and for the communion of thy most pure and life giving mysteries. I pray thee, therefore, O good one and lover of mankind, keep me under thy protection in the shadow of thy wings, and grant me even until my last breath to partake worthily with a pure conscience of thy very things, unto the remission of sins and life eternal. For thou art the bread of life, the source of holiness, the giver of good things. And unto thee do we send the glory together with the Father and the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages of men. Thou givest me monetary thy precious food, thou art fire that doth consume the unworthy. Burn me not, O my Creator, but rather enter thou into my members, into all my joints, my reins, my heart. Burn up the thorns of all my sins, purify my soul, sanctify my thoughts, strengthen my substance together with my will, and enlighten my simple five senses. Nail down the whole of me with thy fear, protect, preserve, and keep me from every soul, broken in thee and more. Purify and cleanse my soul, and make me come and give me understanding and enlighten me. Show me to be the dwelling place of thy spirit alone, and no longer the habitation of sin. That from me is thine abode to the entry of communion, every evil doer, every passion may please from fire. As intercessors, I offer unto thee all the saints, the commanders of the body, and so as thy poor, the wise apostles, and the that and the pure the mothers, and treaties so that thou accept them, my compassion of Christ, and make thy servant a child of life. Thou alone our sanctification of the holy radiance of our souls, and to thee, God and Master, we all send the glory as we meet every day. O Lord Jesus Christ, our God, may thy holy body be unto me for life eternal, and thy precious power for the remission of sins. May the Eucharist be unto me for joy, health, and gladness, and at thy dread second coming, God save me a sinner to stand at the right hand of thy glory for the intercessions of thy most pure mother and of all the saints. Most holy lady, thou art the close light in my darkened soul, my hope, perfection, refuge, consolation, my joy. I thank thee that thou hast vouchsafed me, woman, worthy to be a partaker of the most pure body and precious blood of thyself. Thou gavest birth to the true 
light, through thou enlighten me, spiritualize in my heart. Thou gavest birth to the source of immortality, reviving from dead to sin. Thou art the loving and compassionate mother of the merciful God. Have mercy on me and grant me through function and contrition in my heart and humility in my thoughts and recall my thoughts from captivity. And God save me until my last breath to receive without condemnation the sanctification of the most pure mysteries for the healing of both soul and body. And grant me tears, repentance, and perfection, and glorify me all the days of my life with blessed and most glorified earth, thou and through the ages of men. Now let us thou thy servant depart in peace, O Master, according to thy word. For mine eyes have seen thy salvation, which thou hast prepared before the face of all peoples, the light of revelation to the Gentiles, and the glory of thy people Israel. O God, O mighty, O immortal, have mercy on us. O God, O mighty, O immortal, have mercy on us. O God, O mighty, O immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in the heavens, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, and the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Grace shining forth from thy mouth like a beacon that illumine the universe, and disclose in the world treasures of uncovetousness. And show us the heights of humility, for while instructing by thy words, O Father John Chrysostom, and proceed with the word, Christ our God, to save our souls. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. From the heavens dost thou receive divine grace, and by thy lips thou dost teach all to worship the one God in Trinity, O John Chrysostom, all blessed righteous one, ready to we acclaim thee, for thou art a teacher, revealing things divine, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O protection of Christians that cannot be put to shame, O mediation unto the Creator of faith, stay not the suffering voices of sinners, but be thou quick, O good one, to help us who in faith cry unto thee, hasten to intercession, and speed thou to make supplication. Thou dost ever protect the Theotokos, them that honor thee. What a mercy, 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 what a mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. More honorable than the cherubim, beyond compare, more glorious than the seraphim. Without corruption, gave us birth to God the Word, the very Theotokos, the we magnify. In the name of the Lord, Father, bless. May Christ, such a God, and the such as the most pure Mother, the Holy Great Water, the Mantelayman of all the saints, and mercy on us and save us from His good and the lover of mankind. Amen. Mm-hmm. <clears throat>